Now, if you're like millions of people out there, including myself, that time of year comes around where you suffer from seasonal allergies. You wake up in the morning, you have puffy eyes, you have itchy skin, you have a stuffy nose and maybe a headache and throughout the day you have fatigue. And you know what? It's not fun and we want to avoid it at all costs. Now, the thing is, is we can do some natural things in order to alleviate this. Some of the things I'm doing personally, myself and with my patients, I'm going to show you. So stick around to the end. But before we get started, I'm Dr. Zorowski and welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, it's a pleasure to have you here. Be sure to subscribe subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join our notification community so I can help you excel your health and your life. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the symptoms associated with allergies because, you know, back in the day, I didn't have allergies. And when I started having them, I was like, what is this? Am I sick? What's going on? Why am I getting these sinus headaches or what is happening here? Well, let's talk about the symptoms. So first of all, runny, stuffy nose. Okay, this is something that pretty much flares up right away. You have a little bit more difficulty breathing. Um, and then you have that nasal drip going on, a little bit annoying. But, you know, if you're someone who's getting those seasonal allergies, you're going to be sneezing a lot more, have those different symptoms that we don't like dealing with. As I mentioned, the nasal drip, but also the puffy, itchy, and watery eyes. I've actually been dealing with this quite a bit as of lately. You know, if I'm outside for a long period of time, essentially this stuff just hits me, especially the next morning. So if I'm outside at night and I'm working in the yard and, you know, exposed to all the different allergens floating around in the air, then the next morning I feel it pretty good. Uh, uh, next on our list is going to be headaches, okay? This is something a lot of people deal with. They start to get a lot of sinus headaches. This is one of the big things I didn't know why I kept having headaches and it would just last for like two weeks at a time. And so then I finally realized, ah, this is allergy related. Throat irritation's a big one, okay? Maybe you're getting some itchiness in the throat. Sometimes it's flared up by eating certain vegetables and fruits. And then the other thing is some people can get some ear pain too. They can get some ear pain and a lot more ear drainage if they're suffering from allergies. There's a few other symptoms out there as well, but these are the main ones we have to look at. Now the question becomes is why does this happen? Well, essentially this happens because we're having a hyperimmune response. Your body is overreacting to your environment, okay? So when your body, you know, gets that pollen as you're breathing it in and it gets on your skin and then you're getting the dust and all the other things that are coming along with spring and summer, essentially your body, it rejects it and it tries to protect itself. One of the ways that your immune system does this is by going and releasing a chemical called histamine. When you get this histamine response, essentially what happens is you get all these different symptoms, okay? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to naturally stop that histamine response and everything that correlates with it. And so here's what we do in order to make this happen. First of all, vitamin C. Now, vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant, so it has a lot of benefits in boosting your immune system and helping just improve immune function. But the other thing that it does really well is it acts as an antihistamine, okay? So when you're going in, you know, getting these allergens that are coming at you and you take vitamin C, it helps shut down that histamine so that you aren't having all these different symptoms right here. Next on our list is gonna be bioflavonoids. Now, bioflavonoids are basically plant-based nutrients, okay? You're gonna get this from eating lots of leafy greens. And when we look at the ones that are specifically very helpful for helping with allergies, it's going to be quercetin and rutin, okay? What they've been scientifically shown to do is help modulate the immune system. And when they modulate the immune system, that means they're helping to balance it out. Remember, this is a hyperimmunity problem. Your immune system is working over time and actually reacting to your whole environment. So it helps modulate, it just helps kind of create balance. And then it helps decrease inflammation, okay? We get a lot of inflammation with this histamine response. This is why our throat feels like it's, you know, a little bit constricted. This is why our breathing isn't as good. So we get that inflammation response. The bioflavonoids help with that. Stinging nettle is next here, and this is specifically stinging nettle extract, okay? Now, when I think about stinging nettles, I think about when I was a kid and I have flashbacks as to, you know, walking through some of the tall weeds and having stinging nettles hit my leg and then you'd have this massive inflammatory stinging problem on your skin for the next 24 hours. So stinging nettles, though they're nasty in nature, they're actually highly beneficial when you use them nutritionally and you use the extract from them. They work very well as a histamine modulator, creating balance with the histamine. You don't want histamine just raging out of control in your body and it helps with hyperimmunity and it helps just kind of calm the immune system so that you're not overreacting. So stinging nettles are very powerful and highly, highly research proven when it comes to fighting seasonal allergies. N-acetylcysteine is next. Now I talk about NAC a lot. I really like it simply because it's a very inexpensive nutrient. But the other thing that's great about NAC is that it has so many benefits. It's the precursor 
precursor to the most powerful antioxidant in the body, glutathione. Now, what NAC is going to help do when you have allergies is decrease that mucus buildup, right? You get that mucus buildup in the throat. You get it in your lungs. You know, if you're having resp respiratory distress, this NAC really helps with that. And it also helps decrease inflammation as it is the precursor, like I said, to the most powerful antioxidant, glutathione, in the body. So NAC is great for helping with allergies and also research proven. That's good. And everything I'm talking about here is research proven, okay? Uh, bromelain is next. Now, bromelain is going to be a nutritional compound that comes from the stem of the pineapple plant. This bromelain has a lot of benefits when it comes to allergies. It's going to help stop the edema. Okay, if you think about the puffy face, the puffy eyes, you know, we want to stop that edema, that swelling. And it also is going to help with microinflammation. In Germany, they use bromelain to actually fight and counteract microinflammations in the body. So bromelain is powerful as well. Now, what I'll do is I'll put a link to these different uh, nutritional compounds in the description below, because here's what we do. Clinically, and even for myself, what we do is we take all these different nutrients right here and we combine them together, because you may be looking at this and going, well, I have some vitamin C in the cupboard, that's great, okay? And, or you may say, I might have some NAC, but what we find works the best is when you combine all of them together, because they have this synergistic effect. Whereas like bromelain helps you absorb the bioflavonoids better and they just kind of bounce off of each other and they, and they help each other work more effectively. And so taking them all together is going to be ideal. And like I said, I'll put a link in the description to what we utilize here, but it works very well. A lot of times people think that when you are dealing with allergies, it's all about getting those over-the-counter medications that in many cases make you more fatigued. They have negative side effects, but the truth is, is we can do this naturally. Let's go ahead and talk about the next things we can do. And that's using essential oils. You know, a lot of times we think about, you know, over-the-counter meds, as I mentioned, when we think about fighting off these seasonal allergies, but there's so many natural things we can do. We don't want to forget about the essential oils. Like I said, it's not just about even taking these nutrients. It's about doing all of this. And that's how you get results. A lot of people will go and they'll do one of these and they'll go, well, didn't work. I'm not doing that again. Well, it's because you didn't do it right. You have to do all of them. Peppermint essential oils, eucalyptus, and frankincense are all really good and proven health with allergies. There's a couple ways you can utilize them. You can put them on your sinuses. You can put it under your eye, above your eyes, um, you know, around your nose. You can also go in, you can diffuse these essential oils in your room at night, in your house during the day, at your workspace, and they all help reducing those seasonal allergies that you don't want to deal with anymore. So give this video a thumbs up and watch this video next if you're serious about improving your health. As a result, you automatically intermittent fasted, you pushed your body to start burning fat, you raised growth hormone, you really dropped down your blood sugar, dropped down the fat storing hormones, and it really is helpful.